What's up and welcome back everyone to a new Lost Caverns of Ixalan standard video. So a week ago there was this random surge in Golgari midrange decks that did really well in the MTGO weekend standard challenges. So I had to check it out because it plays a bunch of new cards and I ended up going 7 and 3 with this deck and it felt pretty good. So in this Golgari value pile we're playing the Deep Cavern Bat, Picture of the Schism and Sentinel of the Nameless City as new cards and man do they add fantastic value. Basically they're just perfect cards for a midrange strategy like this. And I also feel that the Preacher of the Schism is super underrated. It's a fantastic blocker at 4 toughness with Death Touch, can create chump blockers for you when you're behind on life total, and draws you cards when you're ahead. Now Sentinel of the Nameless City helps buff up your creatures or draw your lands through exploring with map tokens, and the Vigilance on this also feels great. And you know, we all know how fantastic the Deep Cavern Bat is by now, so that speaks for itself. I truly think these new cards are great upgrades for the Golgari midrange deck, and the deck truly now feels better than ever. All right, before we get into the gameplay, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what your preferred colors are for midrange. I mean, it looks like a fire curve to me. Opponents is all decked out in Ixalan drip. Jesus, like these ugh, these glasses are so bad. <laughs> like my old glasses. I can't I can't find my new glasses. All right, let's have a look at that. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, and hell no. We're starting off with the spice. I see. All right. Well, so we have cut down for Helena and Elena. Witch Stalker Frenzy could be the pick here, probably. Okay. Jesus. Starting off real strong here. The roommates, Jetmir. All right. It's Jetmir Believers. Nah, they always exist. Like, there's just one thing. The thing is, like, you can enter a space with a bunch of Magic the Gathering players. And there will always be one person in there that believes that Jetmir is good. Like, this is just this is just a known fact. It doesn't matter. You enter an LGS, there will be one person that believes in Jetmir. You enter a Twitch stream, there'll be one person that believes in Jetmir. Like, it's <laughs> it's just it's just a known thing. There will always be Jetmir enjoyers. Jetmir, the original Rocco. Nah, it's true. This opponent is actually playing like something really close to the that human deck that I was playing. <laughs> uh, the new Embercleave. Yeah, obviously I have to stop the roomie, so I'm thinking I'll just swing with the bat only here. A it's a new bat. So Jetmir with his fat ass makes a good target for Gix Command, so I'm thinking I'll just grab a Nymph Call. <laughs> there we go. We can just cut down the roommates if they get it on curve. J Jetmir a little thick. You believe in Ginny Fey? I I'm definitely more of a Ginny Fey believer than I ever was a Jetmir believer, to be fair. Um, okay, here it goes. Easy cut down, easy cut down. Yeah, I was always more of a Ginny Faye believer. Turning tokens into like 2-2s two or 3-1s or whatever it was that she did, that's like pretty valuable. Alright, let's start off with a swing here. The fact that these bats like balance out gigs hurting you is just kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Just turtle, I guess. Here we go. Turtle. Well, at least there were enough targets there. Holy shit. I guess that's a little lens of top gone. Never been able to play the roommate suited to trauma of losing my four drop to a one mana removal spell. No, it's true. Like, it's true. Especially now that everybody's playing cut down again because of the bats. Like, nah, your roommates are not safe. Truly. 
Did it just bitch Jetmir? Even Jetmir players don't want Jetmir, boo. <laughs> nobody, nobody wants Jetmir. Ah, shit. Jetmir very unwanted. Oh. Um, you know what? Actually, how much one does that plus one plus one of trample for each forest? I don't have that many forests. Goofy. Um I'm actually not like against Gix command here. Get rid of Inti. Maybe like buff up a bat even more. I kind of like that. I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna do highest creature day control, which will hit NT, and we'll do two one one counters. We'll show that on um this bat. Spot like a, a speed things up a little bit, you know. Sure, whichever. I should go for forest, don't I? Yeah. Jetmir makes choosing a card to discard easy, I suppose. <laughs> nah, it's true. It's true. Hey, Fru. It's true, it's true. Four triggers? Yeah, I mean, I'm down. Well, I guess I'll, uh... Pick up... Okay. Well, lands there. Just pick up what I can get. No need to, like, discard something. Yeah, we're, we're big chilling here with this, uh, one-off spicy Gix. It's a good inclusion. Like, I'm a Gix believer, for sure. Especially lately, like, with a... a Two mana like flyer that also like negates the the damage that Gix deals to you. It's just a match made in heaven. Ah oh, well, shit. Look who's back. We need two cards from their hand twice and left Jetmir both times. Opponent knew. <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, quite the red flag. Um. Okay, so I have four in the air. I can get an additional two from the Mishra's Foundry. Um, technically, like, a win is possible here, but it involves hitting the map token. So I guess we could try. Gix for eight. <laughs> Gix for eight would be kind of wild. Yeah, I guess Nis, but Nis, I only have one for us, but it would have done the job anyway, I think, but... She would only hit for one. I think this does the... No, wait, this already does the job because Blossoming Turtle gives plus one plus one. I kind of forgot about that. This already does it. But yeah, I, I, ooh, I really forgot about Turtle. There. Anyway. We have it anyways, but um, yeah. Here we go. I guess this reveals, like, the least amount. Jetmere Gamer down. I repeat, Jetmere Gamer down. Alright, cool. Can you not- is there not like this three mana card from- I want to say Crimson Vow? That's like minus five, minus five to a creature, minus two, minus two to all tokens. I mean, I don't think that would do the trick, but... Could be a versatile enough one-off in the sideboard? I don't know. S severed a bloodline bloodline culling yeah that's it that's it um i might as well just start off with the uh, a glade there we go invasion of go back and that actually makes a lot of sense <laughs> that makes a lot of sense chief so how many lenses is that actually i didn't even check that oh lord Wait, what? 26? Damn. All right. <laughs> 26 lands, man. That's a bit much. The curve isn't even like too high on the deck, but I guess for a mid-range deck, especially in the current meta, it's just so unforgiving. If you like, it's so unforgiving if you miss like a land drop. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but Still, damn. New group avatar, yeah. Unfortunately, my uh, I got like a really, really weird allergic and like a reaction last night, so I have to unfortunately um 
No makeup. No contacts. Disheveled. <laughs> I get scared. Any deck that's over 22 lands. Yeah, it's like guaranteed flood. <laughs> guaranteed flood. Oh well. That's a good draw. So yeah, we're gonna have to work with Kirby VTuber. I mean, it's already like, the swelling has already gone down by like, at least 50%. Anyways, we're getting kind of taxed out of this game with Go- Oh, what the fuck, a jet mirror? That feels a little suspicious to me, I won't lie. A jet mirror on its own doesn't do much, but I could also attack nicely into the invasions. So I'll take the bait and remove it. The fan face game. <laughs> I don't, I don't i don't know i don't know I'm, I'm like the only thing that i can think of which was pretty bad is like i said on stream yesterday too like my eyeliner literally exploded in my eye my whole eye was black like it was literally as if i was possessed by some like demon or something it was crazy so i was like oh this can be good i guess it's that hey ryan what's up hey mistastic thank you for it was wild like it was wild it, it might have to have something you know it might might be that to be fair but you know Just um weird suggestion. Yeah, it was it was cra it was crazy. Oh shit. Um, I'll probably just grab Witch Doctor Frenzy. This doesn't make me too happy though. But okay. If you ever get a little makeup on your eye, it stains. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, you know. Oh, what is this? A restless prairie. Okay, but then you don't else but smiting me, though. Does that give one one counter? No, it's still the end of the turn. Okay. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Um. Problem is, I think if I don't stop an Impacall now, it's over, you know what I mean? I'm afraid I have to. I think I have to, guys. It feels bad, but... She do grow, yeah, especially with the invasion. Like, it'd be like two counters on it the entire time, right? Like, that's really not good. Really not good, so... Yeah, that's not... We could maybe grow the Sentinel out of Witch Stalker range, but I guess I could always Witch Stalk and Smite. So you can't really uh, win there, I'm afraid. Trenches. I mean, everything grows. The Llama Land also keeps growing now. Yikes. Um, I could do... I was thinking, like, maybe I'll do, like... Creature plus cottage. Nah, that's true. That's true. Like, it's not the end of the world. Alright, let's see. We could probably grow something out of Elspeth's smite range as well. We'll see. Oh shit, Lunar Gvet. But then they're not activating Llama Land. I guess they're not planning on. Hey! Amy, what's up? Thank you for the raid. What's up, raiders? I have no, I've morphed into Kirby. It is true. Ideally, I can grow the Sentinel out of like stalker range. Let's see. This de this deck eight for me. Like apparently, it's the new like it's the truth. Um, it's really wild. But yeah, the entire like top eight of like yesterday's standard challenge was basically like Golgari and Esper. The red is completely gone. There was no Boros visible. Like, it was just Golgari and Esper, which is crazy. Yeah, quite a shocking sight to see. I was like, I gotta figure out what this deck is. All right, so we have our Sentinel out of range here, but not completely. Um, Because they could still block it and witch stalk it. So I'm going to do this again. I keep the glissa on top. And then uh, Creature of the Schism gives us the Glissa, so we could play it and also cut down. Yeah, it was wild. This deck seems to be the real deal. We're checking it out while listening to some bangers. Different playlist than usual. Yeah, I think that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense.
Oh. Okay, that's fine. The Sentinel lives. Sentinel is such a fantastic 3-drop, especially like from the Simic deck. It's good to see it, you know, be like a 4-off in his deck. What's the T? I don't know yet. I, I don't know what the T is yet. It feels very good so far. Kind of like, you know, the, the Golgari Descend deck that we played yesterday, but like actually like good. <laughs> like an actual good deck. So yeah, so far looking strong. Plays a lot of new cards too. Sentinels, Preachers, Cavern Bats. Which is like the, the really nice package. Oh, it's Jetmir. Look who's back. Back again. Vigilance. Okay. Resilient at least, yeah. I feel about the Simic deck. I still win with the Simic deck. I still I still win with the Simic deck. Let's see if I can get rid of the Lunark Vet here. Hey hearsay. Yeah, the Simic deck's really fun. Um, sometimes the only thing that holds the Simic back a lot is like the mana base, right? The lands are really bad. But that's just because Simic lands suck in general. That's where I struggle with sometimes. But I feel like maybe I should try and update the deck a little bit. Um, to have main board removal, less counter spells, especially now that the Cavern is like being more dominant. Here we go. Okay, well, we will surely tilt back lands, right? For now, let's focus on this Golgari deck and we can try the new version of Simic in a bit. Yeah, I think Atrax I think Atrax is still doing good, but um Yeah. Definitely a lot more like pressure from creatures in the main nowadays than like board wipes or like something of the sort. Um anyway, let's do this. I'm gonna just draw a card here. Well, actually no, I'm gonna get on the board. Bronze to goal is a ton of domain. Yeah, I think people just like crafted the deck at some point and like are just <laughs> are just, you know, using it for as much as they can. This Golgari emergence happened around the same time less set. Hopefully it's real this time. True. True, actually. I mean I'll try Preacher. I feel like we're gonna get countered though. Malcolm! Driving wish rice in my lane. Yeah, flourishing. <laughs> the real ones always knew Golgari was good. Nah, it's true, Ryan. It's true. I like Golgari mid-range decks a lot. I always like the way they play. Something so satisfying about playing a good Golgari mid-range deck, you know? All right, Preacher swings and draws us a card. We absolutely love to see it. This could be um Fairy Mastermind. Nope. Okay. I'm actually going to remove... Okay, wait, hold on. Nah, I'll just still cut down so I can play like a new preacher. I'll remove Malcolm. Is this blue-white flash? It could be. I cry Monorad so bad. I don't think Monorad's bad at all though, Cheese. It won like the standard challenge last week. It really didn't do shit like the, the recent standard challenge, but maybe the one that happens today, there's something else. 13th, like ninth place, mono red aggro, just short from like getting top eight. It's still doing things. A lot of Azorius mid range playing Aaron and Jada. Hmm. Mono red deserves to be bad. <laughs> uh, are we cursed today? I mean, we're not so cursed in arena yet. Cursed in real life though. Not like a bad allergic reaction my eye well i mean it's going down now but it was really bad i've never seen it like that swollen Ooh. i mean red enjoyer soon to be playing with uh, blood moon and timeless eventually we will win am i gonna get board wide like for real i mean i don't know That was a really weirdly timed Aaron and Giada. <laughs> what the fuck? This is literally pu like punishing people that have that like urge to like in response gas something. There's nothing like it. Like I spoke of this like last, what was it, last stream? 
No, last stream. Somewhere this week where I was like, I cannot... My pet peeve in Magic is people casting things in response when they don't have to. Yeah, I, I, you know, like, it is a valid like a valid strategy to play like a mid-range deck with a, with a bunch of one-offs because you have a lot of answers in there. But I like my decks a little cleaner. I don't know. I mean, I'm my decks have a lot of like three-offs usually. That's kind of what I feel like my deck building is known for, which is really stupid. <laughs> but some people are known to have like just a bunch of like one-offs everywhere. And they'll, you know, sometimes you get lucky enough to hit the answer, right? Like I see the benefit to it potentially, but... It's not for me. I do respect it, though. Phoenix playable and Explorer. Yeah, Kans is giving us uh, the Delph cards, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Fine fucking finally, dude. <laughs> We've been waiting for so long. We've been waiting for so long. Yeah, we're going to get uh, Treasure Cruise and the other one. Dig through? Is it dig through time? So that feels good. Doesn't that just mean that it's playable in general? Those were like the only cards we needed, no? Goldfit, uh, they are the MTGO standard challenge results. I think we that's all we need, right? I mean, Copters we don't have, but... I'm not really too scared by this 2-2. Let me see what they play first. Let me have a look at like a recent... Um, Phoenix deck. Pioneer, what are we missing? Is that Phoenix? Second place. Pioneer challenge. That's convenient. They play Big Look Prankster in that deck now? Treasure Cruise. Yeah, we have everything we need. If Treasure Cruise is on Arena, we have everything we need. Interesting. First place, Grixis Phoenix. Let's see what that one does. Uh, Grixis. Yeah, we just need treasure cruises and then we're good. So, yeah, we can finally play Phoenix. What a blessing. Timeless besties. No, I'm pretty excited for Timeless, too. I gotta, like, think of some decks to brew, you know? Temporal Trespass. Um, I, I don't see the Phoenix deck play in terms, you know, Trespass anymore. I see, like, sometimes a one-off, but... Just Treasure Cruises is what they're vibing with. I mean, I'll try Shelly. Times is going to be fun. I think so, yeah. I think so. I'm thinking... I still think that the first Samus deck I want to make is, like, Domain Zudo. <laughs> Domain Zoo with all, like, with Okos, Ragavans. But maybe I'll re regret that. I know a lot of people are, like, speculating on, like, Lurus Blood Moon type of stuff and stuff like that as well. So, I don't know. Monkey? I mean, do we know what cards are restricted yet or no? Like, do we have any idea there? Wanted to say happy birthday subsequently. Hey, Westwin, thank you so much. Appreciate that donation. Thank you for the birthday wishes too. Appreciate you. Thank you. The channel trickery tutor. Oh, that's perfect. We don't want channel. The three that were banned in the last historic all access. Ah, uh, and okay, okay, that's good. This feels very suspicious. I guess I won't fall for it. Mystical scam, <laughs> scam hive. <laughs> no, that's true. It's true. Restricted means you can only have a copy. Yep, yep. But like, our those three cards like restricted or banned because i guess if you still have the opportunity to get like the channel that would kind of suck <laughs> uh restricted okay okay so you could still get you could still pull off the channel this guy get a little bit lucky with it Ooh. 
That's fine, I guess. <laughs> ah ha ha. Restricted supposedly nothing will be banned. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, my uh Oko Ragavan um Zulus is gonna go strong. Wood fetches. Slay. Oko, yeah. <laughs> Our boy Oko, the return. Also, if any of you guys uh, want to cook up some or have cooked up restricted deck lists, drop them in the Discord and tag me. I'll happily uh, check them out and play them on release. That's Tuesday, right? Mono Red Moon. <laughs> Jeez, get on it. <laughs> Oracle Tain Pack. Oh, shit. Vibes. You can send it to me. We're gonna have so much fun with Timeless. Basically, no Ben Historic. Unfortunately, we have to pay this time around, though. I saw it, Ryan. <laughs> Angels, like, just cannot stop it. All right, this kind of sucks. Look at the lands a bit much. I mean, that's what you get when you play 26 on decks, I guess. Uh-huh-huh. Yeah, we're in like a different playlist than usual right now. Actually, in a Shy Girls curated playlist called Thick and Juicy. <laughs> oh. Oh shit, you got more? Oh, okay. Nah, it's true, it's true. Can't stop the angels. Alright, Virtue hits Malcolm. Honestly, say less. Yeah. Seriously. You can buff that up a little. Oh, it's the boats! Oh, shit. Anyway, here's a virtue. Very, like, European core. Now, what are we gonna do? I wonder. Yeah, I could slam Virtue. I also don't hate the idea of just for like attacking and keep going, but because our number one concern coming up very soon is going to be the Restless Anchorage, right? So it's hard. But okay, let's just slam a Virtue. I guess we get Shouldered back. Okay. We can lose a game. Hey! <laughs> Ideally, no. <laughs> Ideally, no. Ideally, no. We don't lose. Never back down. Never what? I've turned into Kirby, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have. Uh, Shouldered. Hey, Queen. Girl, you've done it again. Constantly raising the bar for us all and doing it flawlessly. And I'm still holding up food. Michelle Obama at it, yeah. <laughs> For some reason, that meme happened like, what, like three, four years ago, and I still quote it every now and then. <laughs> I don't know. 
something just so legendary about it. Yeah, no, nah, it's really iconic. It's true. It's true. Hey, Super Terra. I'm okay. How are you? Use the heck out of that I pride that year. <laughs> nah, it's true. I, I have it as like a redeemable like thing on the stream too. It's so funny. Yeah, well, like, what was the other version? Like, hey, flop, you've do done it again. Like, constantly, like, lowering the bar for us all and, like, doing it flawlessly or something like that. Whatever, whatever, like, the, the evil edit was is also so funny. <laughs> the evil edit. I could have to find that back. Ooh, we're exploring. Okay, let me eat this food. You had to be there. Nah, it's true, it's true. All right, victory! Hey, that's good. That is good. Might as well start over this. Yo, BTX, thanks for 11. And just thank you so much for the Prime sub. Thank you, besties. Right, I'm going to start with the Dread Knight. Have you faced much ramp? I always get stomped versus ramp on Golgari. I haven't faced any ramp yet, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. I think the ramp deck preys on anything that doesn't have either a lot of speed or counter spells. So that, that, add, that adds up. Yeah, the, the bats and the rest help, but then again, like, all the bats just get wiped by their main board Brotherhood's ends and stuff. Unless you can... Oh, what is happening here? All of a sudden, it went from spies. I thought we were up against the track stuff for a second. Founding of the third path. Interesting. This little Moxfield? Uh, should be, I think. I mean, I don't want another Liliana. I already have one. Yeah, what does this do? Like squirming or like immersions into Atraxa or something? I could besage you this now. But I guess I'll wait. Ah, it's hard. Because if it actually is squirming, ah, mm, I don't know. This is really tricky because if it actually is. Ooh, I don't know. I think it's definitely reanimator. The second you list Liliana plus, you shove something in the grave. I don't think I need that. Screaming immersions in a portal. Which makes me think like, do I just want to like hit the founding with the Beseju? I'm honestly thinking about it. But okay, invasion of... Fiora? Okay. Yeah, I've seen Atraxas, I've seen Titans. Okay. <laughs> okay. I guess they showed that to like prove to us that if they did mill right, if they didn't get unlucky, they would have had us or something. See, like, I don't think this hand's gonna do it for us. Because there's no hand disruption in here, just removal. I don't think that's gonna be good enough. This is better. That's better. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. A little bat. Um, definitely grabbing foundry. Or founding. Founding of the, the third path, whatever it is. Too bad cry. No, it's true. I'll do Kalissa. Kalizzy. Okay. Nobody wonder what happened with the first and the second one. <laughs> it's a good question, like asking the right questions. Oh god, that was a good one for them, I think. Oh shit. We're gonna have to like we're gonna have to exile. Start off with this. Yeah. Draw a card loose on life. I guess we gotta do it like after the other rolly gaze and hope for the best, right? Preacher. One throw back and a dream. <laughs> for real. One fill, fill back in a dream. Can we exile the grave? Nah, it's true. It's true. Very hateful. Should actually probably keep track of this, uh, the record of this deck, right? What are we at right now? All right, this should be a banger frillback, I hope. Unless counterspell, but... Should be a banger. Okay. Watching the Kirby kick its legs. It's a, it's a nice, relaxing animation, for real. Kirby the next lo-fi girl. All right, here goes frillback. I might as well just do the double. Exile a graveyard gain for life. Uh, you. Thanks very much. That goes your value, I hope. Hopefully that stalls them for a little bit. Oh shit, no, no. Oh brother. Oh God, okay. It's an Atraxa. Okay, that's fine. If it's a Atraxa, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine, that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Shelly kills. No, it's true. What is it all then? Oh, shit. Well, I feel like surely they didn't keep it. Yeah, <laughs> surely not. Surely not. All right. Well, Shouldred. Five, five mana legend. There we go. Light work. Another day. <laughs> All right. Looks good. Also, we picked up another win here. So we're five and one right now. Deck is absolutely thriving. Let's keep it up. There we go. Little bats. I mean, this is just a bunch of value in this deck. Yeah, bath water. <laughs> yeah. Do I do I say that to sell him? Oh shit. Triple triple go for the throw. Alright, I'm not scared at all. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's just a meme, yeah. Wow. Okay. Let me solo her. Real. 
Wait, there's some swift spear in here? Damn. I kind of like, I'm kind of feeling the urge to like hit this thing with Anoint with Affliction now before they get like the Omnixilis sack. Bad day to have a throw. Yeah, does this guy have one? Oh, I'm afraid so. Well, I mean, it's technically Leaf, so something happened there, but... Nissa here to slay. And Nissa will do fantastic against the for the throws, for sure. It's bumping out like tokens. Big tokens. That's good. That's perfect. I'm just gonna slam Nissa and believe. There we go. Bald Nissa. Yeah, like she is uh, looking a little, uh, a little rough. <laughs> oh, we're removing the Dread Knight as well. No, no, not the Dread Knight. That gets to live. Yeah, the, the sun I never had. It's true. Dread Knights were... Oh, shit. Molten Collapse? Wait, this is Rectal's control, dude. What? Why would you ever need, like, that much removal? Like, damn. I mean, we have the, the pressure of, like, the, the virtue of persistence going for us as well, but... Damn. I guess I'll just do Cottage. What Swift Spear, yeah. <laughs> the Swift Spear is such a choice. Like, it really is. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Most decks in Standard are armed with, like, eight pieces of removal nowadays. Once again, Nissa does nothing. Well, I mean, I guess she baited the go for the throat and the Molten Collapse. Like, that isn't bad. For one cart, two for one or whatever, technically, right? Oh, I'm afraid of that. Oh, I'm afraid of that. That does not pass the vibe check. That was, uh, something. Bonus at four life already, though, so we're kind of chilling when it comes to that. prefer the ramp deck the ramp deck's really nice yeah and i said it as a ramp hater but it's just got so many like cool things to it what is our last card or did i hit two lands swifty I'm just going to remove the Monastery Swift Spear and swing with the Cottage. Oh, get rid of this. Is this standard? Yes, it is. So let's exile that. We can swing with the team. We take or we deal three. We have a backup Cottage, a Mishra's Foundry. Oh, they hit two lands. That's kind of unfortunate. The decadent dragon hitting two lands. Jaya. What the f Grandma? Oh, wow. What kind of deck is this? Very interesting. All right. Well, I'm afraid it doesn't save you, but nice effort. Interesting. No, that's kind of that's kind of like on them that they showed us 
mm, Jaya, because now I'm thinking like maybe it actually is some like Rakdos control pile. Huh. Wanna grab the snack? Are they like actually just here fucking around? Oh, okay. No, they're here. They're here. They just took forever. Giving yikes for me, Chief, but all right. Yeah, seriously. Two pain lands. <laughs> Wait, some commercials. Uh, I'm probably just going to slam Preacher here. See if we can draw some cards. All right. Hope both Rectus Control are back. Maybe that's why I didn't grab the bath because they're just playing Rectus Control. Oh, fuck. Is that a... All right. Okay. Is it Pirates? Is it Pirates is awesome. Oh, so we can stop that eventually. Interesting. We gotta be a bit careful, though. Okay. Hmm. I was hoping for the buff, but this works for, for now still. As long as we're still ramping up. Should probably grab the forest there, but. Okay. Bitter triumph. There goes our boy. Our turtle. I mean, there's an urge to just slam this virtue and never look back. I think I will. Okay. The slam, yeah. All right, we'll take it. I see bet I keep. I wish there was like a good boat for, uh, you know. Hmm. A good boat for this deck, but can't have it all. Um. trying to set up something for the cards here oh my god <laughs> oh shit oh shit okay let's hit that wedding okay Bat on bat violence. Bat on bat violence. I mean, on a positive note, we're playing Golgari, so we should eventually have a lot of ways to deal with their enchantments, but it's gonna get a little rough right now. I don't think we have a lot of mainboard hate outside of Glissa and Glissa and Nissa. <laughs> the dream team, Glissy Nissy. Um, I'll just hit the bat with the annoying, I think, for now. No Astars in the main? No, no, not in the main. All right, I really needed a land drop too, though. Can't miss out on our lands. 26 land deck. Let's uh, keep the vibes up. 
Okay. Well, I guess it's not the end of the world, but once again, it's not a land. And eventually that's gonna come back to haunt us, I'm afraid. Eventually it will. Dun dun dun. Let's remove this while I can. Okay. As long as the bat stays alive, no jinx, and they don't have the wedding. It would help. Alright, we got ourselves a land. I think I'm just gonna slam Preacher here to try and like get that card draw going. Hopefully we can hit our land drops, find Nyssa, remove virtues, live our best life. Holy shit, yeah, Crooks, I would go so hard with the send. That sounds awesome. <laughs> oh man, can we get Crooks back? Crooks back in standard challenge, please. The worst part is like when Crooks was in standard, we couldn't even really do a whole lot with her because Crooks was legal when Uro was legal. And Crooks would fuel your opponent's Uros, and there was nothing worse on that than that. Like, I think there's a lot of repressed anger in me from like playing my Crooks against somebody that played Uros. And like, I would just literally fuel them bringing back that card. I've never been the same person since, I think. <laughs> I've never been the same. I remember, and I remember the dark days vividly, it's true. The Uro trauma, not the, the, it's not even that Uro was like traumatizing. It's just the fact that Kroxa was like so much worse than Uro and Kroxa would actually help the Uro player out by fueling their graveyard and they could bring it back like trauma <laughs> like actual trauma crooks was exactly like crooks was working for uro and it was hell it was not fair <laughs> it was not fair that lurus like crooks deck was fucking awesome though i mean this is kind of a bop let's put a banger on Like, at this point, do we bother? Like, I don't know. I feel like you almost don't. Oh, yeah. Crooks Cro versus Rogues. Yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yo, Red Special subscribed at Tier 3. Thank you so much for the Tier 3 sub, Bestie. Appreciate it. Thank you. That's awesome. I'm Like, I could besage with this, but also, like, I probably have to go after the land at some point. All right, double virtue, another day. I guess I'll just slam Sentinel and hold up Edict and Beseju. Like Beseju hitting the Restless Anchorage could be pretty good. Especially once they realize that that's what they can work with, but they didn't. All right, we got through that somehow. <laughs> Shout out to the bat, you guys. The absolute MVP of the game. Deep Cavern bat, what a legend. Okay, we got some bats, let's go. I only need bats. Bat on bat violence, here we are. Skelly deck. <laughs> Arg. Arg. Yeah, this is a lot of bats. Ended up going for the Sentinel. That's fine. Vibe bunnies. Oh, okay. The fuck. All right. I'll hit the pilfer, I guess. Man, that's pilfer and Esper is kind of spicy. Top 42. Bessie's not fucking around. Hand disruption for days. Let's see if I can have the vibe bunny up somewhere. I have pumpkin cat run. Pumpkin run.
Okay. No, we're good. <laughs> is, it, is it good enough? See, I'd love to play Glissa, but we all know. I'm just going to summon another bat, to be honest. Like, these bats kind of force interaction on them, and it's so good. Oh, a virtue. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder what they're going to do here. Yeah, I'm not booking. They're kind of goofy for, like, attacking, I feel, but it's fine. I'm just going to have you, like, use a go for throw on one of these bats because... Oh, a wedding? Oh, fuck. Okay, I guess I have Nissa to deal with these things eventually, though. Okay, let's draw a card. YouTube video me playing Esper Mid? No, I don't have a video on Esper Mid, but there's so many, like, examples everywhere. I guess if you want, like, Esper Mid piloting, like, really well. I mean, that's an old version, I guess. But you could always watch, like, Worlds. <laughs> That's where Esper won, so... I mean, Esper, like, it's not the, the most insanely, like, difficult deck to pilot, so... It's not easy, but it's not, like... I think if you get a few reps of it, you'll get the hang of it, for sure. The, the bat is so insanely powerful, like... Everything that it does, not only does it give away your entire opponent's hand, it grabs a card from it, it's got lifelink, it's got flying, like... It's got basically everything you could possibly want in a true drop, it's like, it's actually insane how good it is. They got rid of Nissa. I'm definitely booking that. Ooh, I wanted to slam. Oh, I really wanted to slam Glissa there. Because that's weird, because they know Glissa can take out Wedding or Virtue. Eventually. So, I mean, maybe the right play is to, like, Bat plus Dread Knight? I guess I could still do Dread Knight plus Glissa. I'll try it. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now, come on now. <laughs> I mean, she definitely is, but also, whew, hurts to have that card played against you, you know? Random question. Have you tried Mardu Super Friends at all? I have not. I have not. I've not really tried Mardu Super Friends, but you guys can, uh, we can, we can brew after this. We're gonna cook something up for you guys, so. I'll take like five decks out of all the suggestions coming into the chat that I think could be fun. We'll drop them in a poll and you guys can vote. Thanks to uh, the sub goal getting reached. Let's go. Yeah, I was. I have like Amalia's bats on my list, which would be Deep Cavern Bat, the one mana bat with lifelink, Amalia in there. We'll probably do some Gixxas in that deck too. So like I have an idea. I have an idea. I have a vision. Um, for that deck. Amalia's Bats is what I would call it. Maybe like Roaming Throne on Bats. <laughs> like there's a, there's a vision. Okay. The thing is like, if I don't bat sooner rather than later... Things are gonna get rough. I'm just gonna bet now. Rafine! Oh, that's a good hit. Okay, I'm happy that I did that. 
opponent's probably gonna slam Virtue. What do we have to get rid of it? Glissa's gone. We have Nissa's gone. Two Frillbacks. Okay. Opponent's deaf slamming Virtue here, for sure. Yep, yep. Slam it, Chief. Holding up one mana there. Why? Cut down? No. Fierce? Or bluffing, yeah. Bluffing, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna draw a card here, see if we can find like a thrill back or. I'm playing a deck that uses the Monka to get black back four four bats up to number 14. 15 mythic bats are insane. Oh shit. Spicy. Okay, destroy evil it is. Build deck mode for opponent. At least these bats kind of like help us, uh. Oh, brother. <laughs> oh, oh, things just took a turn. I mean, talking Numa, bring back a something. I guess I'm just gonna get on the board. Might have to fire off some double blocks somewhere. Okay. Change your name to apples and fruit bats. Real. <laughs> real, real, real. I'll get on the board first and then we'll see. I might have to fire off some like double blocks or something. The random mirror X activation there, but okay. Oh, that's such a shame. Okay, well. So here's the move, right? We're just going to do Gix's command. Return two creature cards, 1-1 one, one counter. Let's put the counter on this bat. And bring back Shouldred and Glissa. There we go. We'll swing and play Glissa. And then we pray. <laughs> At least the life gain could really save us. Like these bats are putting into work. But everything is going to like pick. Anyways, uh, let's do a map on a bat so we can get a little bit more value. Yep. Give me that frill back. So I'm going to swing here because I'm brave and I have a shoulder anyway. I'm wondering if we could... Okay, we're just getting chomped. That makes sense. Yeah, like board control you're never getting. At least like buffing up a bat. Like we're just surviving through pure life gain, right? So... The opponent goes so wide, like it doesn't even really matter. Might as well just uh, buff up your flyer to race them better. Dead next turn. Like I can just jump the highest. Well, like the lifelink is kind of just like for a turn. So like if you give it to the bats, like they will stay benefiting of the counters also as flyers. They left the might back. Yeah, that's not the wisest thing. <laughs> it can't block, but it's okay. Like, you know, vibes. Yeah, like it all in taps and stuff too. I don't know. All right, I can already tell these lands are going to, like, bother me. I mean, I guess it gets eaten, but... I guess.
We might as well do the pay, pay. We'll do the destroy plus gain. Get rid of the virtue. Gain to life. Don't remove my bat. We're definitely not out of this just yet. Yeah, we're definitely not out of this yet. Like, that is a buff the board. Our life total is looking good, though, but... Huh. Like, say we do this. We take 15. I could even do, like, just this. Then we take what? Uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No, we'd be dead. Well, so this is what I'm thinking. I think they might have found a new virtue. It's why I'm a little suspicious. But okay, let's make the right blocks here. Get Starbies. Oh shit, absolutely fucking love that for you. fuck am I dying to toxic? I have three. <laughs> Almost gave me a heart attack. Like, oh my god, what? Like, bestie. Thought it worked like in fact? Okay, I know. Yeah, I think I'm just going to play my turtle to buff up my um, my Mishra foundries and then just swing in with that as well. And then, uh... That's what I'm going for. Like, it doesn't really get much better, does it? Alright, team. We move. Yeah. I think the opponent tried to like spook us that we might have thought that they had like a virtue or something.